Hello, my name is Bob Norwood, and I'd like to share some of my experiences using AIM Photonics' MPW services. I'm currently the founder and CTO of Norcon Technologies, as well as a professor in the Wyant College of Optical Sciences at the University of Arizona. I've used AIM's MPW services eight times to date, predominantly as a professor at the U of A, as well as recently one time with my company. I continue to use it as a result of a great device performance and customer service. When we started our GDP-1 program, uh, for example, we really didn't know how the MPW pick design would perform in AIMS platform. We knew previously from literature that there would be problems running modulators at low temperatures. And we were surprised to see the performance was actually much better than previous modulators tested at cryogenic temperatures. That performance was unexpected and was really a charge and an, an energizing element for our program. Uh, and then when my company ran their first run, we did some simple M passive MPW chips and the insertion loss was really very good, uh, exceptional in some cases, uh, much better than the spec. Uh, we were getting on and off the chip with losing uh, less than 3 dB, which is really exceptional. So that was uh, very exciting and, and energized that program as well. Uh, I think having an established PDK and components was also a plus, made it easy for us to design into the MPW. Uh, and I must say that we noticed a real improvement when AIM moved their design services in-house and, and the process control and the customer service uh, were big things for us and uh, they, they really stepped it up when uh, it came in-house. Uh, and, and when I think about this, I think, uh, that one of the most positive aspects of our experience with AIM and the MPW services are commitment to continual improvement. The fabrication cycle time was already outstanding when we started, and then they continued to work to bring that down and also to find additional improvements. I think most importantly, make that time very predictable so that you know if they say, well, you have your chips in five months, you have them in five months. If they say three months, you have them in three months. So. That's great for, for project planning, obviously. Uh, and I mean, I really believe strongly that this country needs the capability in silicon photonics that AIM has addressed and that need, and it's really done it in a, an amazing way over the past, past five years. Uh, and we now have ready access to silicon photonics foundry capabilities that you know, we didn't have in this country before. Additionally, I can even say that I have international collaborators that have taken note of AIM's accomplishments and speak very highly of their PIC Foundry services. So in closing, I'd just like to give a special thanks to Amy Kaplan, the Director of Program Management for AIM. She was really one of the best people to work with. GDP-1 was a highly complex project and she dealt with all sorts of curveballs, taking everything in stride, and which always left a smile on my face. And I'd also like to thank Bart Bergman, specifically for his help in getting my company's first design onto an MPW run. He worked closely and tirely, tirelessly with us to make this happen at really a critical point in our Air, Air Force program, and that was a major milestone for us. So I thank you for uh, your attention.